There's something interesting happening in New York at this very moment. That line call was made by a computer. In fact, every line call in this match was made by a computer, using human-like voices to do a job which up to this point have always been done by live lines people. As the pandemic continues to force tournament officials to enact restrictions necessary to keep everyone safe, the normally crowded tennis courts at the US Open this year have made early New Year's resolutions by trimming some of their fat, eliminating all fans and spectators, reducing the amount of ball kids on one court at a time from six to three, and most interestingly, completely removing the traditional role of line judges on most courts, instead employing Hawkeye Live technology to make every single line call. Now of course, if you're a tennis fan, you've probably already heard of Hawkeye, a technology used in tennis to resolve line disputes and prevent McEnroe-esque tantrums since 2006. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! Though tennis purists scoff at the idea of robots running our sport, Many can't deny the excitement of Hawkeye visualizing the ball being either in or out at an extremely crucial point in the match. What began as a fun addition to the sport has now become a standard at most tournaments, and you wouldn't be blamed at this point for blindly accepting every Hawkeye line call determination. But now that we face a near future in which computers may make every single in or out line call at tennis matches, it begs the question, exactly how accurate is the Hawkeye technology? And what does this mean for the future of our sport? The answer might surprise you. Though first developed for and used in cricket all the way back in 2001, its addition to the sport of tennis has ultimately turned the technology into the recognizable face of ball tracking that we know today. After all, what better sport to implement ball tracking technology into than that in which players argue with chair umpires about line calls every single match. Many could have foreseen an eventual inclusion of a line called dispute technology after years, decades of arguments. But there was no better catalyst for its inclusion than the famously blown calls of the 2004 US Open quarterfinal match between Serena Williams and Jennifer Capriati. Though television viewers at home got a taste of the experimental shot spot, the visual representation of the Hawkeye calls being tested at the Open that year, the players on court had no ability to challenge calls at this point in time. Proving a need for widespread adoption to allow for player recourse when they felt they were wronged by an umpire or lines person, Hawkeye was soon available for player use in early 2006, with the US Open later that year being the first Grand Slam to implement the technology on its show courts. Fast forward to today, and Hawkeye is generally used at most professional tennis tournaments in at least some capacity, with the big exception of those held on clay courts, as the ball generally leaves a visible enough mark on the court when it bounces, making a strong case for Hawkeye inclusion nil. Even the shot spot visuals have greatly improved over time, leading to a more polished and streamlined experience. And it was good. So that's all fine and dandy. It's widely used and accepted, has a slick interface, and makes the sport more exciting. But hold up, what the heck is Hawkeye? And how does it work? And can we trust it to make the correct call every single time, no matter how close the shot was? On a tennis court fitted with Hawkeye technology, 10 ultra motion high speed cameras are installed around the perimeter of a tennis court, five per side capturing video at 340 frames per second. This number will be important in a second. The system works together to triangulate information from each calibrated camera to produce a 3D position of the ball, 
While many believe that Hawkeye literally watches the ball and determines from a live video of the bounce as to whether the ball was in or out, the truth is actually very different and far more technical, where instead of telling the viewer what happened, the cameras actually calculate what's going to happen even before the ball bounces. You see, the cameras determine the trajectory of where the shot is going by calculating the position of the ball at different intervals as it comes off the player's racket. Remember that number? If the cameras capture footage at 340 frames per second, we can generalize that the computer generates 340 different positions of the ball every second. With this information, an algorithm takes that data and can very accurately predict exactly where the ball will bounce way before it even touches the ground. Almost as if it could predict the future. Combined with a calculation which incorporates ball compression and skid once it hits the ground, the bounce mark is then determined, giving us that awesome shot spot visual on the big screen within just seconds. Just like every major technological innovation, however, Hawkeye came with its flaws. Technical difficulties, Hawkeye is unable to show the call, but they can confirm that the ball was in. Call is overturned, replay. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just the system is not available, so... No. That's, uh, that's such a shame for Azarenka. Glitches aside, the system has also made many questionable calls in the past. Buy this. Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> very, very interesting if that is the mark. La ligne ou pas? Et c'est le cas. Bien visé. Yeah. I didn't say that you're wrong, but it happens. No, but you cannot tell it can me. be the calibration, it can be it's everything. To be in this ball. Pour raison. Well, that's what it shows. So, considering Hawkeye's current and extensive future use in tennis matches, what exactly do we know about its accuracy? To answer, let me first ask you a question. Have you ever watched a tennis match on TV and were absolutely positive a ball was out, only for the shot to be challenged and called in by Hawkeye? Well, here's a challenge for you. Take a look at this slow motion footage of the world's greatest tennis player winding up to hit a forehand and watch the bounce. Was it in or out? If you said out, Hawkeye would disagree, as this ball was later declared in. Were you right, or were your eyes playing tricks on you? Viewing the exact same shot through one of Hawkeye's ultra motion cameras, it's possible to see the ball barely make contact with the back of the baseline, before skidding on an additional 10 centimeters to give the illusion that the ball was out. And here's where the underlying answer starts to come together. Hawkeye is exceedingly more capable than we give it credit for. With the ability to understand trajectory, spin, skid, and speed far better than any human eye could, computers literally calling the shots on every professional tennis court might be a closer future than you think. Surely there's a margin of error to its accuracy, right? Well, the International Tennis Federation, or ITF, set strict parameters that needed testing before allowing Hawkeye into tournaments with the major test of Hawkeye needing to be within 5 millimeters of the real recorded bounce. For reference, this is about the width of a pencil eraser. The result? Hawkeye on average was accurate to within 2.6 millimeters, arguably a great deal better than the naked eye. And this doesn't just apply to calling the lines. The cameras track foot faults as well. So if Serena thought she could get away with this again just because there were no more line judges to be threatened with death, think again. So, the verdict? The current version of Hawkeye Live is an amazing resource, which most likely provides far more accurate line calling than any human could. But like any technology, it's not perfect. With an average margin of error of 2.6 millimeters, the system will still call a ball out that it thinks lands one millimeter behind the baseline, even though the truth may be beyond the system's limitations. Hawkeye competitors, such as tennis analysis system Fox 10, brazenly claim their system determines line calls based on real bounce observations as opposed to estimations, throwing shade and calling into question the supposed superiority of Hawkeye predictive technology. In addition to observed factors that have been known to muddle the accuracy of the cameras such as wind, shadows, and darkness, one must always keep in mind today's digital limitations. All in all, the future of further technologically advanced tennis courts seem bright, and we can take solace that Hawkeye for now, despite imperfections, is probably right.
and you're probably wrong. 